she protects the crown. Hey, I'm back, y'all. I wanted to do a quick tutorial on beginner's makeup. I have been purchasing makeup from the hair store for the longest and I just wanted to show y'all a few of those products along with Juvia's Place. I gave that brand a try as well during this video so you will see a few products from them as well but everything is mainly hair store. I'm showing y'all all my hats, how I apply my makeup, no rules, it's just how I've been applying my makeup for the last five years. Mind you, I do not wear makeup often, like maybe once a month, if even that. So I don't keep up with the new techniques on how to apply it. So what y'all see is what you get. Um, I'm not going to do all that extra stuff. Just ride with me. So first I wanted to show y'all what I do for my eyebrows. Now this little pencil, I'm not even sure the brand is either LA Colors or Nika. Nika K, um, those are the brands that you'll see at the hair store. It has the brush on the end and then the actual pencil is slanted. So it's easy to form the eyebrow line however you wanna do it because of how the pencil is shaped on its own. It's already shaped flathead ready for you to go ahead and fill in and draw those eyebrows. Overnight, they say, damn, you changed, I'm like, show you right, I, 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 in the crib, trying to find the BPM, rehearsing for the next show in my kitchen, fresh off for tour, but can't tell you where I've been, maybe after 20 years, I'll start the ticket in, right now, I'm chasing in, in Dover Street again, I'm introverted, I'm not open to new friends, but if you're real cute, then I have to think again, shop the wrong way so you can stay off trend and look like, Mon. Okay, so this concealer is from Juvia's Place. Um, I did not purchase the right one. It is much too light for my face. So I did end up using my usual, which is my LA Colors, my LA Pro. Um, I use that concealer because it, al it always gives me a very good finish. And um, to me, to me, this is the best concealer that I have tried. And I, I haven't tried a lot of name brands. I'm not even gonna sit here and flex like I buy that stuff. I don't be buying it. But I tried that concealer. And of course I use my flathead brush. That's kind of the same shape as the eyebrow pencil that I use. But I use this because it actually stays on all day and it gives me a nice clean finish with my eyebrows. Could prove you wrong, so I reckon you leave all of your problems at the door to my city. You gon' need to tell my brothers where you from, and I admit it, I still got empathy, and you gon' feel it for two weeks when I release you in them streets and keep my Nina in discreet, keep the clean in my Jeep and put that Yeezy in your teeth. Let my Jeans off their leashes if you even think to speak. I'ma give a whole new meaning when you said you live in a dream. We could keep that sleeping, you gon' let it all your G's. Count them sheep, 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 sheep. Time by Z, 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 
P-Z-Z-R-I-P You know you go broke trying to handle me Take it from someone who know how to handle me I'ma need a real grown kind of energy uh -huh. Do you know, do you know? Cause you're dealing with a lot of competition You're gonna have to do a lot of kissing You know I got someone with the time to listen Tell me boy, do you know, do you know? Do it every night Show me a good time You can do, I let you this brand it's my favorite 355 is what I use even though I believe I'm supposed to use something much darker this gives me a decent enough blend and it uh I try to blend my neck area as well so you can't really tell that the cons that that foundation is much lighter than my skin but it is much better than the accidental foundation that I ordered from Julia's place was much too dark. I mean, y'all, y'all would probably go off on me thinking I'm trying to give black face and I'm black. Like, come on now. That I'll give my review on them later. But anyway, <laughs> so when I put my foundation on, I always use a brush and I try not to wipe, but more so press it in because you wanna make sure that you're doing an even blend. So I always, even though I might wipe a little bit, I always go back and press that into my skin. And as you saw, I always started off with using a cocoa butter. I don't use all of those primers and stuff. Any primer I've ever used has broken my skin. I have very sensitive skin. And none of the primers have worked for me. So I do use basic cocoa butter. Palmer's cocoa butter is fine for me. So yes, blend, 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 blend. And I also start to blend that concealer in after I'm done. I blend that concealer in with that foundation as well.
everybody in this world is like us. So I did not record this part, but I wet my beauty blender. And that is what I use to blend in that concealer with that foundation to give it like that nice highlight, but you can't really tell that it's highlighted if that makes sense. Like I said, I'm not a professional, so I do not know the correct terms to use. <laughs> anyway, I blend, 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 blend all around my eyebrows. I try to make sure I do not actually touch my eyebrow with the blender so that I don't have to go back and correct my actual eyebrow. Y'all have to excuse my ratchet. I do that often. Anyway, so I'm back with my Pro Concealer. And with that, I go under my, under my eyes. I do my chin. Um... I do my jawline. I also make a line on my nose, down the center of my nose, and a few lines on my forehead. I do not like overkill. Overkill makes your makeup look cakey no matter what brand you are using. You do not want to overkill and put too much. So I try to put the minimum that I know how to apply, and I blend that in and it's gonna give nice highlights, a nice contour once I am done applying all that needs to be applied to actually complete the contour look. So y'all, I'm not gonna flex. I have had this thing for a very long time. I believe it's from Black Radiance and I can barely even see the number to give y'all, but that is what I use to do my, um, my dark contour. Um, <laughs> so silly but yes I use this and I don't want to be too harsh with it because like I said I don't want that cakey look and I don't want it to be too much but I do put that um on my jawline and I apply a little bit on my forehead and some on my nose now I wet my beauty blender once again and we finna get to blending all of this contour makeup in. I always start with my concealer first and then I go back and do the darker parts afterwards. But I always try to make sure I blend, 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 blend. Because with the lighting, it's really tricky depending on where you are. Sunlight, light from a camera, it's really, it's a lot, y'all. That's why I don't do makeup often. Because if I'm not going to do it right, take the time to do it right, I'm not going to do it at all. So you really want to make sure that you blend a lot. It's a, it's, I think blending is probably 75% of the job when it comes to completing your makeup look. You have to take the time to blend your makeup. If you do not blend, it will look a mess. Trust me, I know, I've been there. Like I said, this is a beginner's tutorial. And I'm pretty much still a beginner because like I said, I don't consider myself a pro. I don't invest in pro in big, big name products. I don't do all that stuff because I ain't got time and I'm not going to spend my money on it because I don't use it often. I'm not a makeup artist. I don't do other people's makeup. I mean, I just do me. So I'm just showing y'all the little hacks that I have and showing y'all a few products because these are cheap, but they will give you the exact same results. Y'all just wait to the end because I promise you, baby, this face finna be beat, honey.
this translucent powder that's probably the only thing I got right from Juvia's place aside from you know the eyeshadow palette that I bought this um this powder is really 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 good now it reminds me a lot of Sasha Sasha buttercup uh pow powder I think that's what it's called Sasha buttercup powder it reminds me a lot of that except Sasha buttercup powder is like $25 I ain't finna spend it y'all already know I am a thrifter so, with Juvia's Place, I believe I paid no more than $10 for this. It works really, really well, and it's not too much. A lot of people like to use a much like lighter one, and I don't like that because it makes you look a little ghostly. <laughs> it look a little ghostly when it's a little too light, so I'll pass on that, baby. I like to stick to my nice brown. It gives a nice brown, warm look. I love it. Y'all see that? Look at that. That's so nice. It's 2 a.m. and I can sleep, I'm all alone I keep on making up excuses when you're gone Oh, it's been too many nights, you're on a roll Don't rush your words, just take it nice and slow Hey, what you got? Once again, LA Colors HD Mascara. This is also something you can purchase from the hair store. It gives you a nice little definition to your eyelashes, your natural eyelashes, and it's a good prep for when you're about to apply your false eyelashes. Chico, I wanna see flaws. Oh, silly me, oh, you learn a cheat code. I'm wondering why. Why you staying out so late? Too much for me to contemplate. Still, I've been wondering why. Y'all, I absolutely love this eyeshadow palette. It is so pretty. Um, so I am doing a warm look for the fall, and for my current outfit, I am wearing. So the eyeshadows that I chose were those of the brown family. I have a little glitter and I have something a little darker. I can't even see these to tell y'all the name of it. Lord have mercy. I should have bought this stuff with me when I did this voiceover, but you know what? It's all good. Anyway, y'all see what I got and what I'm working with here. And I will give y'all the details in the link once I'm able to go back and actually see what the name of these exact products are and the numbers as well. Too much for me to contemplate. Still I've been wondering why. Why you gotta test my patience? I wanna be on the same page. But you need to get your story. Straight, 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 straight,
I wanted to point out a mistake I made right here. Too heavy, too heavy handed with the eyeshadows moving too fast now. I did not want it to be that dark, so I did go back and I did have to blend it real good because yeah, that was way too dark for the look I was trying to go for. Now when I hit this other one, that's more so of my speed right there. See that? I don't need it that dark like how it is on the other side. But y'all just watch a little magic trick happen right here. Join me out of my mind importance of blending blend blend baby blend blend see now it's matching up i need that to match you do not want one side looking completely different from the other i am not a professional but i do that one right come on now help a sister out loving your body baby girl you want me to me Y'all, I be having these lashes on hand for my clients. I never go this long, but I had to because this is all I have. So I use these 3D lashes and I also use this glue, which I will include below the uh, name of this glue. And um, y'all, it's really cheap. This glue is like maybe $2. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all, it is really, really, really good glue, but when it's time for your shower or washing your face, y'all, that's it. It ain't gonna, it don't have no, it's not waterproof at all. Not from my experience. And I've been using this glue for like the last three years maybe. Because it's, like I said, it has great grip. Like once it's, uh, once you blow on them a little bit and you see that it's starting to give that sticky film and you apply it, you can't really take them off. But when you actually go back and try to take and you actually try to take a shower and you don't want them to come off, they come off very easily. So I do not recommend this glue if you're trying to like get near water and stuff. It's not waterproof. But other than that, it's really great glue. So after we been baking our face for so long, y'all probably forgot I ain't even did this. <laughs> you get your brush, go through and blend in all of the powder. The powder has been sitting on my face for probably a good 30 minutes. So it's definitely baked and it is done. It's time to blend. And that contour line, you wanna make sure that you blend that well. You don't want it to be too harsh. Like I said, I don't, I'm not heavy handed with that. I don't like how it looks when it's too harsh because it, it, it gets drag. It, it be giving drag for a lot of people. So you want to avoid being so heavy handed, especially with the dark parts. You don't want to be heavy handed with that on your cheekbones. So I don't know if y'all know, but one thing about me, when I'm doing these videos, you gonna get this ratchet, ow, ow. <laughs> Another one. This is Mika K. This is the blush duo. You can also purchase this from your local hair store as well. Like I said, 
hair store products are great for me. I, I'm perfectly content. I've been content with that for the last 10 years of my life. I only tried Juvia's Place because I've heard great things. But um, I think I'm gonna stick to my hair store stuff when it comes to the basics and for my eyeshadows, I will continue to purchase from Juvia's Place. This is also a product from the hair store. I use it as a highlight and it's Mika K brand as well. Y'all, I'm so silly. <laughs> I love that shine that it gives on the nose. So I be acting silly when I see it. It's so cute. But yes, Nika K brand gives me life when it comes to makeup. I love Nika K and LA Colors. Both you can purchase at your local beauty supply store. Do not be afraid, y'all. They are great products. This is NK, the bold eye. I uh, Y'all don't think I'm nasty because I use that pencil for under my eye, my eye line. I use it for my eye line and I use it for my lip liner. You gonna see it. I don't care what you got to say because I use it for both. Yes, I do wipe it. So judge your mama. Don't judge me. Bye. So like I said, I use the same liner for my lips. And you did not see, but I prepped my lips with a small amount of Vaseline or cocoa butter, I use both. And then I began to outline my lips. And I, I just, like, I don't do it professionally. I just do what I can. <laughs> don't judge me, I just do what I can, y'all. So this is not the best lip outline, but hey, you get what you got. So, I know this girl named Sharita Austin. She is amazing. She has her own makeup line called Adore. And this is one of her products. It is for the lips. It's a great lipstick. Her lipstick does not budge once it's on. So, brace yourself, lady. It is all day lasting. So, once I apply this, y'all probably gonna laugh at me because I go back and use... um that Juvia's Place concealer that I said was too light for my skin, I go back and I use that as an ombre. I love ombre on the lips, y'all. I just cannot help myself. I can never do a solid color. It has to be ombre for me. It's always been that way. I don't know why. Not committal. Help you with your career. Just a little. You supposed to hold me down. But you holding me back. And that's the sound. I mean, I'm calling you back. Why am I in gray till they got a Yes, ladies, blending matters for the lips as well. That is why I'm sitting here doing my lips like that because I have to blend the liner with the actual lipstick. And this is the concealer that was too light that I'm going back in to use as an ombre. Just tap the inside of that lip line just a little bit. And, you know. I had it, no, you ain't from the start. Hey, I'm glad you're back with, with you. I mean, who would wanna hide this? I will never, ever, 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 ever be your side chick. I put the sink in single. And this is the last product we will apply a nice finish spray. I believe this is Nika K brand as well. Purchased from your local beauty supply store. Don't sleep on the beauty supply store products, y'all. Me and tell it straight to my face. Best friend set me down in the salon chair. Ooh, look at that girl right there. She pretty. Ow, ow. It's giving face. It's giving face, baby. Hey! Y'all, don't forget to subscribe, like, check out my other videos, click that link to get the products, and I will see y'all next time. Ow.